Case. Oh. So how's it going with the case? Well, firstly, it's has turned into a cauliflower. We just don't have the resources to cope with this. I know, I was looking at it this morning. It just doesn't seem to make any sense. What should we do? Well, it's no longer a job for the police force. The FIB? I think so. Okay. You call Mrs Tiplin, I'll tell the boss. Okay. Yes, this is Mrs. Tipler. Oh, yes, okay. The what? Oh, sorry. Um, I mean the Federal Investigations Bureau. Yes, that's right. We'll have two specialists on the case to help you. Oh, right, I see, yes. Tomorrow then. 
Right, yes, okay, thank you. Goodbye. Special Agent Scullery, and this is my partner, Special Agent Mulvey. Pleased to meet you. Um, we're from the FIB, and we've come to investigate the body. Oh, right. Yes, it's upstairs. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, Mr. Tiplin. We're going to have to take your husband's body for some tests. Okay, just do what you have to. Thank you for your help. Autopsy on Mr. Graham Tiplin at Queensborough Hospital. Time is 4:10, and the head pathologist in charge is Victoria Strickland. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is go for the first layer of the growth on Graham's forehead. Mm, and there are definitely quite a few more layers underneath. The whole thing seems to be held together by a slimy green substance, almost like plasma. I'll just go down the side, moving along his cheekbone. The whole brain just seems to have been dissolved and or replaced by the same green substance holding the rest of it together. I don't think we've got any rec record of this in anything I've ever seen. Mm, I've been looking into this and uh, it seems that a similar case was recorded about 50 odd years ago to a Mr Taylor. Oh. Mm, it seems that his head was changed into something that resembled a cauliflower and a strange object was spotted in the sky above. You mean the UFO? Yes! Mulder, don't be so ridiculous. You're always so quick to think that it's a UFO or something. Do you really think it's wise that we go and see Mrs. Tipton straight away? I don't know, I've just got a hunch, this feeling, I just... I just don't know. I suppose this hunch has got something to do with aliens. Well, yeah, I mean, what else can it be? I, I mean, I've never met anything like this before. I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, that's what's in our job. It doesn't mean that everything we do is down to aliens. There must be some other explanation for it. What, then? I don't know. That's why we've got to get some facts straight before we go back. This is a substance from her face, oh, and uh, as you can see, this is the reaction. I found that the uh, microfibers from polyesters mixed with the corrosive substance in the washing powder, and when this in turn mixes with the odour of uh, Mrs. Tipton's neck, it actually turns into the cauliflower substance we have here. Oh, I'm still working on the final equation, yeah. but when I get the results through, yeah, I'm, I'll be in my office, so um, as soon as I come through, could you send them up? Yeah, I'll just fax them straight through. Thanks a lot. Should be a couple of hours, but 
Happen for you soon, if possible. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye bye. Bye. I don't just don't believe this scientific explanation. I've got a feeling that there's alien involvement as well. I just don't look at the facts, Mildy. When the ingredients in the fabric meet with the acidic substance in the powder or something like that, I don't know. But the doctor said it. She knows. Will you just leave it? Yes, but it's believed to be true that aliens come from outer space and swap human body parts and take them away to study. In this case, they've left the cauliflower. This is stupid. I've got no time for your silly theories. I've got things to do, you know. I've got to ring people. I've got to do some experiments. I've got to ring the powder company. Now, you just let me do that? Hello, um, I'm Agent Scullery and I'm a member of the FIB. Yes? I'll send the evidence round. I know, but I'm sorry, but that washing powder of yours is a danger to the society. You must take it off the shelves at once. How dare you speak to me like that? Hello? Hello? Oh, thank you very much. Will they do it then? No. Are you satisfied? They're putting the members of public at risk. Oh, and I'm glad you're finally accepting the correct theory. And we've solved the case.